me it's not the same as a mother for me. No way. I believe mama would be the last person on earth to give up on a child. Yes. Daddy might be ready to put them out, might be ready to disown them, but mama will be there as long as they got breath in their body. And I love every mama, I appreciate every mama, and to be a mama is the greatest. To me, it's the greatest gift in this world to be a mama. It's the greatest mission in the world to be a mama. Because mama, you know, it's always been traditional for mama to teach the family. Mama holds the family together when it seems like it's falling apart. morning, I want to be talking about the Beatitudes. One of this, you know, I know we hear Bible over and over, we read scripture over and over, and I, I was thinking as I was coming over here, you know, a lot of times, if you've got a favorite scripture in the Bible, one that really helps you out, that comes to your mind every day. The Holy Ghost reminds you of that scripture every day. And that's why it's very important we be reminded from time to time about how our life should be, how we should live. In Matthew, the fifth chapter, and seeing the multitude, he went up into the mountains, and when he sat, his disciples came unto him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, This he was talking to his disciples. So this let us know we as a disciple how we're supposed to be. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Poor in spirit. You know. What chapter is you in? Matthew, the fifth chapter. Uh, kind of the day. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven, I'm sorry. You know, it's great to be part of the kingdom. This right here to me is a great scripture. All these beatitudes are great because God is blessing us. I'd rather have the Lord's blessing than anybody else. You know, most men when they pick their bride and they, you know, start courting, and they go so far as to propose, and the bride says yes. That man wants her father to give them a blessing. And without the father's blessing, the marriage don't seem to be as you know. I, I, well, I don't say important, but it's always important. But it don't seem to be. There's, there's something lacking. Yeah. And without the blessings of God in our life, there's something lacking. I'd rather be blessed of the Lord than to be blessed of anybody else. Yes. I'd rather have God's okay, <clears throat> Jesus is okay, and the Holy Ghost is okay as anybody else's. You know, I've never, I've never made up my mind a long time ago. I quit trying to please everybody in the world. I quit trying to please the world. All alone, one person I want to please is God. Yes. Right. I want to be a godly man. I want to walk up right before God and, 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 and be where he ought to be. And that's the way that we all should be. Verse 4. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Mournful. Uh, have a mournful spirit is great. Be mournful. You know, I look at the fields. You know, Jesus said one time, said, Behold, the fields are white and ready to harvest. I look out into the world and I see fruit out there that needs to be cultivated. Sinners that needs to be reached. Christians that need to be uplifted. And I'm part of them. We all are. And that's why it's very important to always be uplifted. Always have that mournful spirit. Always have that humble spirit about you to want to everybody to have the best. Yes. Care for others. You know, 
greed in this old world will, will, will kill you. Yes. It will literally kill you. Not, 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 not the body, but the spirit. It will cure you. Have a greed. There's nothing wrong with wanting the best. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But don't be so greedy that you want everything everybody else has got. you got to have it all. There used to be a, a, a man of, by the name of Vaughn that lived in the farm out The old man Vaughn. Back in his days, you know, he was slave days. He had slaves and everybody. He had a nice farm. Nice land in Fairmount. Big. Matter of fact, his son, his grandson, his great grandson, has got it now. And the question was asked to him, he said, do you want all the land around you? He said, no. He was buying the land. Buying no, I don't want it all. He said, I just want the land to uh, join me. Join me. <laughs> Good now, if you just stop and think, every time you buy something that joins you, there's something else out there that joins you, and something else. Uh, that man built up a great farm. He was like built to a lot of people. He'd done good. But he, <laughs> he was to the point that he he wasn't so completely satisfied with what he wanted. He just wanted what to join. You know, we need to be content with what we got. Right. The Bible says, having food and rain will be therefore content. That's right. Amen. <clears throat> consider the lilies. Consider the sparrows. Consider all that. Yo, I know what the day and time we're living in. If I sat around and wondered, worried about everything going on in the world, I believe I'd go crazy sooner or later. I just know no matter who's in office, no matter what happened, God is still on the throne. Right. He's still in control. I don't care what's happening. I don't care how the government's getting. I don't care how, how, how the world is getting, how they, you know, <clears throat> they slay people, they, they do it all this, they, they try to do everything in the world to keep people from serving God, they try to take everything out of, out of, out of public, you know, that pertains to God, but God is still in control. Yeah, still in their hearts. <laughs> That's why we need to be, as the psalmist David, when he said, I will hide thy word in my heart. We need to know the word. You know, I don't, this, I'm getting scattered this morning about a thing, but I just want, we need to be blessed of God, and to be blessed of God is to do God's will. Do the will of God. Do his will. Yeah. yeah. As Jesus said in the garden, Father, not my will, but thine be done. Yes. Let's think about that for a minute. Jesus, at one point in time, said, Father, if it be thy will, that this cup may pass from me. I don't know why he prayed that prayer. I don't know where it was fear of death. He didn't fear death. I don't know where it was just because he didn't want to suffer, or because he didn't want to leave the disciples, or whatever. But he did pray that way. But he prayed in agony at that point in time. He was praying in agony until he got to the point where he realized the Father's will was more important than his. And that's the way we should be. We should need to have our lives, keep our lives to where we know God's will is more important than our will. Bless, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Righteousness. Righteousness to me just means one thing. It don't mean shouting. It don't mean glorifying God all the way. It just means doing the right thing all the time. Mm -hmm. Do what's right. Do what's right. I mean, I know we all want to get children of God, but, you know, sometimes we get to the point where our body will get, our old flesh will get in the way, we won't do the right thing. Yeah. And that's why we need to, to just be right. A righteous man, a righteous person, is one that's right in the eyes of God. That's what counts. As far as the world is concerned, we'll never be righteous. 
Nobody will ever be pleased, everybody. No. That's right. Blessed are the righteous. And blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Another thought that came to me as it was coming over. You know, we as the children of God. It's up to us to be an example. <coughs> yes. You know, Jesus taught his disciples <coughs> by example. He set the example because he told them at the Last Supper when he washed their feet and all that stuff. He said, I have, in other words, in essence, what, what he was saying is, I've, I've been your example. I've set the example. I've showed you. It's easy to tell somebody how to live right. It's easy to tell somebody what they, you know, how to come, come to the Lord and seek God. The hard part is showing them how. Show them. By your life. Let your life be a life. Jesus said one time, I'm the light of the world. And he went on to say that ye are the light of the world. Right. A light. We have to, we have to <clears throat> teach by example, we have to live by example, and we have to be children of God. Uh, blessed are the pure of heart. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. I don't know about you. I got a desire to see God one day. But you know, one of the main reasons I, I keep holding on, Bill, and I just keep working for God, and I keep going on, there's one person in heaven. One person. I don't want to lay my eyes on. It's not mama. It's not daddy. It's not a girl. It's not all my aunts and uncles that's going on. It's a man called Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. I don't care about dabbling in the river over there. I don't care about putting my feet in the river. I don't care about all the fruits that's in the garden. And I thank God that oh, he's got it all prepared for us. But I want to see the man that prepared a place for me. Yeah. Yes. The yes. care is up to die for me. That's true. Right. That's true. That's true. That's the only love that's greater than any love that you and I have. Right. It's right. the love that love. Jesus has for you. Yeah. He didn't come down here because he had to. He didn't come down here because he really wanted, wanted to. He didn't really want to. Because up in heaven, joy, but, but he got to the point where he said, it's a necessity. It needs to be. Yeah. It needs to be something. Yeah. Yeah. I can just imagine. In my, in my mind, I imagine a lot of stuff in my mind. I can just imagine that Jesus and God, up there in heaven, talking and God tells the son, boy, they're getting rough on us. <laughs> they ain't going to get no better. It's getting worse than worse today than Moses. I, I know, and it's getting, just getting bad. I don't know what we're going to do. Something's got to be done. I can just picture Jesus looking over and says, Daddy, uh -uh. let me go down and see what I do. Daddy, I'll go. I'll go down and do so. I'll go down there and try to change things. You know, you ever just talk about, there's no sense that one person can make a change. One person can make a change. He probably said, God, let me be the same. Let me be the same. He came. No one. See, everything that was in the old Bible wouldn't work. They had to offer up sacrifices time and time again. Every time, every year, there was an annual sacrifice. And he came to be the supreme arm sacrifice. Not because of it. had to. Well, a lot of things in this old world 
comes to the Lord, when it comes to living right, we do because we need to. Because we need to. Is this Sunday Not, school being asked a question? Yeah. I want to ask a question and see how you feel about this. It really is not contained in this, but in the way it does. How is your feeling about, you know, tell me how you feel, to be honest. Uh, we talked about it 